Hi, beautiful people. My name is Chase Sutton, Associate Pastor here at Victorious Life Christian Center, and I just wanted to encourage you all with the Word of God today, just concerning the coronavirus and everything that, that it's causing in people's lives, the, the mayhem, mayhem, the chaos, the anxiety, the fear. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming to you out of Isaiah 41.10 today, which says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I, I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will deliver you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And I just wanted to talk about what's in God's righteous right hand. There's love in God's righteous right hand. There's peace in God's righteous right hand. There's provision in God's righteous right hand. There's hope and joy and love. And as I'm um, looking out and going out in, into society today and just talking to people and just loving on people and just sharing with them, I'm seeing how the, the virus is being glorified and our God is not being glorified. And that's a big problem when we make our fears bigger than how big our God truly is because he's the healer of the coronavirus. He's the one who... Um, heals people's bodies and frees people's mind and frees them emotionally. And um, as I'm looking out, I'm focusing my mind on the things that I see that are good, not the things that, that the negativity that the virus is causing, the things that I'm seeing that are good. Our families are joining together. Communities are joining together. I'm seeing more families, more fathers um, with their children, which has been a lack in our society for a long time. And just looking at how the Lord is just beginning to shift some things, even though um, the enemy means for this virus to, to bring turmoil and chaos. But what the Lord is doing is he's shifting some things around to bring families and communities together. And that's truly what is needed um, in our society because the, the Lord loves relationships. So I just wanted to encourage everybody just to focus in on the Lord and just begin to glorify him, not glorify the virus because the news and the social media has already done that. They've pounded that into the ground, but glorify him because when we begin to glorify him, things will be lifted off of people. The anxieties will be lifted off of people and hope and love will begin to pour out because that's exactly what God wants to do in this time. And I believe that in this time, it is to prepare us for what will come. It is to prepare the church on how we are supposed to, supposed to be positioned in him. So, um, I believe that the Lord is positioning the church into who he has called us to be. He's called us not to um, be of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And I believe that that's what he's doing. He's putting us in our rightful place, not to be fearful. Because if the church is fearful, then why would people in the world who are fearful want to come and get help from us? Mm -hmm. So we just have to be, just be encouraged. Just begin to go out there and love on, love on others because, um, the word of God says they will know us by how we love one another. Mm -hmm. So just begin to pour out your love on people because that's ultimately what the what the Lord wants. The harvest is ripe and we as believers must go out there and um, preach the gospel and do his will. Whatever calling that is, whatever he's wanting you to do, whether it's to pray for somebody, whether it's to call somebody, whether whatever it is, go out there and just be obedient to what the Lord has um, called you to do so that he may be glorified in this. Mm -hmm. So thank you today. Thank you so much for your time. Be encouraged. Don't be full of fear, but be full of love and be full of the power of the Lord our God. Mm -hmm. Amen.